Alright, how's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, this recap will be going over what we went over this past Wednesday. Uh, so if you guys noticed, the desk is really high up. That means I'm doing the go live sessions right now. So what we're going to talk about is what you guys have been doing for the past four weeks. So if you guys want to share, you guys were allowed to. And uh, we'll have people like show their artwork on the camera. And if we have time, we'll do a rural landscape because last week we did a cityscape. So let's get going. Um, again, I'm going to repeat myself. Um, if you have something that you want to share with the group, uh, make sure you get it ready. And that way, when I call on you and you raise your hand, uh, you'll be ready to go and share it with us. And then, if you want to draw with me later, in about a couple minutes, I'll make sure you have something to draw with and a piece of paper. All right, you guys ready? All right, who would like to share first what they have done art-wise? Anyone want to share? Grace Clay, you want to unmute yourself and say hi so you can pop up there and roll on screen? Mine is the Chicago City. And as you can see, I added some lines just for some decoration. Oh, cool. I like your drawing. Good job. All right, anyone else want to share? Raise your hand. I want to pick Kennedy. Kennedy, you want to share with us what you've done? Well, actually, during the weekend, I made two paintings. One oh, was, did you? was a tree. I was being creative, and I used a toothbrush for the grass. Of course, oh, an really old cool. one, but I was being creative. And my second was what actually was actually the beach. Okay. That's really cool. All right. Would anyone else like to share? Um, that's all the hands from my screen. Is there any um, teaching assistants that see any hands that I can't see? Anyone else want to share? Anyone else want to share? All right. I think that's all the volunteers. I see. I have two on my screen. I have Alexis. I and I have Miss Perez. Okay. And All I right. have Eva. Uh, Alexis, you want to share with us? All you got to do is unmute yourself and say hi. Uh, um, I'm Alex. Uh, Sorry, Alex. Hey, okay, you want to share? Yeah, um, I made the Keith Herring one. Right here. Oh, cool. I drew them skateboarding, one guy doing a hair plan, and two guys grinding. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Mrs. Zink, you said you saw someone hands up? Or Miss Hardigan, who was the other person that you saw? I'm afraid to butcher this poor girl's name. Uh, Z U L E I K A. Say your name for oh, me. Zalika. Zalika. Okay. Do Sorry, like that. I love it. Okay, and then as well. And then uh, we'll be able to see you. So um what I did was the Chicago City. Was the okay. Chicago City. I I drew some extra like some lines with arrows to make more buildings so it looks more like Chicago than just like three buildings. Oh good job. Okay. Um that's all the time I have for right now, because right now the time is now twelve fifty. Do you want to share with us later? You can. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pan, or sorry, switch cameras. Give me one sec. It's going to be pointing down. So if you want to share uh, with us what you've done later, uh, we'll see if we have time, or probably next week. All right, here we go. All right, so right now, it's the camera's pointing downwards. So if you have, this if you have a piece of paper and something to draw with, uh, you can follow along. So last week, we did Chicago Cityscape. So that was a cityscape. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a rural landscape. So basically somewhere that's not a city and it's a little more rural and kind of like more in the countryside. So if you want to follow along, then great. So here I go. I'm going to make sure my paper is horizontal. And I'm doing marker because marker is a little bit easier to see on the camera than a pencil. So here I go. All right. So I'm going to start off with the foreground and then I'll make my way towards the background. So I'm going to go from the bottom and work my way up. Here I go. All right, on the bottom left-hand corner, I'm drawing a couple bushes. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to draw three, and they're overlapping each other, just like this. All right. If you want to make them more detailed, what you can do is create more curves in the inside of them, either the single use or a couple other ones like this. It'll give it more of a detailed look. All right. And then on the other side, on the right-hand side, I'm going to add a half tree. So this half tree is going to be curved this direction. 
all the way down. But then on the top, I'm going to curve it up a little bit and outwards more, just like this. And then that's going to become a branch. In order to make it into a branch, I'm going to go from here, go back slightly, and then go up. Just like that. All right, next step. In order to make this look like a tree, on this side of the branch, I'm just going to create little curves to close that end off. And then over here, I'm going to close this end off by going like this. So that's just the inside of the tree. For the outside of the tree, I'm just going to start off in a random spot, maybe right here. And then I'm going to go inwards like this. If you want to go to the top, you can. But if you want to go to the side of the paper, you can. I'm going to stop right about there. And then if you want to add more detail, all you got to do is add more loops. There we go. All right. So to finish off the foreground, all we're going to draw is a straight line from this bush to the tree. And then I'm going to add a path. So this path is going to be slightly curved. So maybe I'll go from here and curve it this way. And then since I'm trying to work with depth, meaning something that's more further away versus closer, I'm going to go from thin to wide by adding this line that looks like this. Notice how it's thin on top, and then it's wider on the bottom to the other line. All right, with that done, what I would do is add some bushes by the pathway, so maybe bushes about this size. And then I can do some overlapping, so it looks like one is behind one another, like this. If you want to add details to the bushes, you can. And then maybe I'll add some bushes on the horizon or on this line right here as well, but not too big. Okay. And if you want, you can add a tree or so. So again, we're not going to go as big for the other tree. But I'm going to go about this big. If you want to do the same technique, you can. So here is my technique of the branches. So one V over here, another V over here. And then I'm going to close it off on top on all three sections. And then now I can add the bottom part of the tree and the top. All right. Now you can tell that the tree is further away just by looking at the sides of it. All right, now I'm going to work on the mid-ground. This part's a little bit more tough. I'm going to add two hills. Watch where I put the first one. I'll put my first hill right over here. I'm going to put my next hill right over here by going from this hill over to the tree. There. Now it looks like I have two big hills in the back, which is also known as the mid-ground so far. I mean, it technically is the background, but I'm going to call it the mid-ground. You'll see why. All right, good job, guys. We have five minutes left, so I'm trying to speed up the pace a tad bit. I apologize. This is recorded, so we, you can always rewatch it. All right, this part's a little bit harder to understand. Basically, I'm going to attach this pathway to a pathway I'm going to add to this hill, but they're not going to connect. It won't make sense right now as I'm saying it, but it'll make sense once you see it. You guys ready? Here we go. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to do a S. But notice how it's not connecting to that pathway over there. And I'm going to make it wide. So I'm going to go from here. So it's thin first. Then it gets further away from that line, just like this. All right. It is technically the same path. The only reason why it's not connecting is because you're kind of going over a hill already once you pass this line. And then it rejoins the path over here. So basically, we're not seeing some of the path, and that's why it looks like that. Does that make sense? It's kind of confusing, but that's how it is. And you can kind of do the exact same thing with the other hill. So I'm just going to do another pathway. Maybe I'll go like this again. And again, it's not connecting. And here's my thin line. And again, it's not connecting. But it makes sense because you're going over a hill, so you can't see some of the pathway. All right, we're going to do the exact same thing with depth by making things smaller 
So the only reason why we're adding bushes and trees is to give that effect that you're getting further and further away. So these bushes are gonna be super tiny over here. And these trees are gonna get a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can make them smaller than what they were. I have three minutes on the clock, so I gotta catch up a tad bit. And again, if you have, if we had more time, I would add more trees than I have right here, but um, we're running out of time. All right, um, maybe I'll add one or two trees over here on this side. I'll tell you what, I'll add one right here. All right, that's the mid ground. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a straight line from here all the way across. If there's a tree in my way, I'm just gonna go behind it. There we go. And what that line is, it's gonna be symbolizing water. So it could be a lake, it could be an ocean, it could be anything you want, it could be a river. You can put a boat on it if you want later. There we go. So now we're going even further away. All right, now I'm gonna do the background a little bit more. I'm gonna create two hills using a curved line. One, two. And then I'm gonna add maybe my main mountain in the middle with a little divot on top, just like that. And then we'll go down. I apologize for going too fast, but we only have a minute left. Yep, I know, Brendan. All right. And I'm gonna add some clouds here. I'm gonna add wispy clouds, meaning that they're kind of in the wind. That's why they're straight in the bottom. All right. And let me just add a couple more things just to speed it up. I'm gonna add pine trees in the back because pine trees are really large and I like pine trees. Here you go. All right. All right, if I had more time, I would definitely add more trees. Um, and more bushes and stuff and more pathways, but I don't have that kind of time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call it done. Um, if you wanna share with me or uh, the class what you've done, I'm gonna ask the same question again uh, next art class. So make sure you work on it if you'd like to work on it more. And then I'll ask that same question next week, okay? So I'm gonna stop recording right about now. Give me one sec. Okay, it stopped recording.